So in this video we will see how we can use concept of matrices and Cramer's rule to solve equations and in this case we have equation that contains three variables. So we have three equations this one this one and this one that contains three variables and variables are x y z and we have to solve for x y z. Now to solve for this we can use Cramer's rule and that case first we have to find determinant value. So the determinant will be in this case the first row. So these are the columns of determinant. So this is the first column, this is the second column and this is the third column. So let us say this we will have 3, 3, 5 and the second column will be 3, 5, 9 and the third column will be 5, 9, 17. So you can calculate the value of this determinant. There is a method that is always given in the textbook. Here we will use a shortcut method to calculate this determinant value. So to use this shortcut method, what we have to do is we have to rewrite these two columns just close to this determinant. So basically just close to this matrix. So you can have 3, 3, 5 and you can have 3, 5, 9. So I have rewritten these two columns, first two columns. Now let us multiply this. So we will multiply this and that will give 3 times 5 times 17 that is 255. And then again take the three numbers that is these three numbers and then multiply. So that is 3 into 9 into 5 that is in this case you will have so let us say let us go little down. So this will be 135. And the next number again 3 into 5 into 9 or 5 into 3 into 9. So this will be so let us write 255 here and 135 here and then this will be 5 into 3 into 9 once again 135. Now similarly you have to multiply in this way so from this side. So if you multiply 3 into 3 into 17 that will be 153 and this again multiply these three terms that is 9 into 9 into 3 that is 243. So let us write 153 here. So this is 243 and then next thing you will have this one. So 5 into 5 into 5 that is 125. So to calculate the determinant so anything that is coming from this side that is right side we will have put a positive sign and anything that is this side will put a negative sign. So that is in this case this will be a negative sign. So now add and add basically all these numbers and in this case this will be equal to 4. So the value of d is basically in this case 4. Now how we calculate dx. So dx is so we have to calculate the next thing is dx. So this will be same only thing is in this determinant I have to replace the first column this is 335 with this number that is 100. Zero, zero. So now in the first column we will have 100 zero, zero, and the rest of the thing will remain same that is 359 and then 5970. So we have to calculate this determinant value. So we will use the same trick. We will rewrite the first two columns. So in this case first two column is 100 zero, zero, and the second column is 359. So let us calculate this value. So once again go from here. So this is 1 into 7, uh, 1 into 5 into 17 that is 85. And the next column or next term that we will have that is 3 into 9 into 0 basically 0. Next we will have 5 into 0 into 9 once again 0. Now come this side. So 3 into 0 into 17 we will have 0 because there is a 0. 1 into 9 into 9 so this is 81 and this is 5 into 5 into 0 so this is 0. 
anything that is on the right side we will put a positive sign so this is positive this is positive this is positive this is negative 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 so if you sum all this value in this case this will be 4 so once i know dx and d we can calculate value of x so x is what x is simply dx by d so we can use that so x is equals to dx by d and in this case dx is 4 and d is also 4 so this is my d value and this is my dx value so we will have 4 by 4 that is x is equals to 1 now to calculate by what we have to do is we have to make a change so we have to calculate d by so now in this case every this determinant will remain same so initial determinant will remain same but we will now change the column corresponding to by that is the second column now we will replace this column so we will have 3 3 5 first column will remain as it is second column we will replace with 1 0 0 that is the constant term right hand term so this one so we will plug this here so that is 1 0 0 you can write in the red 1 0 0 and the third column will remain as it is that is 5 9 70 so this will give the value of d by so let us put into the black 5 9 70 now we have to calculate the value of this determinant so we will use the trick that is rewrite the first two column that is 3 3 5 1 0 0 and now I start multiplying so you can have this one so this is 0 17 into 0 this is 9 into 5 into 1 that is 45 and this is 5 into 3 into 0 that is 0 now come this side 7 into 17 into 3 into 1 that is 51 this is 9 into 3 into 0 that is 0 and this is 5 into 5 into 0 that is 0 anything that is right positive and anything on the left is negative so this time we will have minus so this if you add all this this value will be so this is plus 0 and this is plus 45 and here you have a 0 so if you add all this you will have minus 51 plus 45 that is minus 6 so by we can calculate that is nothing but d by by d and d by is minus 6 and d by already calculated that is 4 so by is equals to minus 3 by 2 so by is equals to minus 3 by 2 now we can calculate dz now to calculate dz once again in the determinant the first and second column will remain same that is the second column is here so second column we have that is 359 and the first column is 335 so the second column is 359 and the third column we have to replace with the right hand side so right hand side we have 100 so this thing so we have to replace the third column with 100 and then we can calculate the value of this determinant as earlier to calculate this determinant we will repeat the first two rows that is 3 3 5 and 3 5 9 and then we will multiply so let us multiply this so in this case we will have 3 into 5 into 0 that is 0 and then we will have 3 into 0 into 5 that is again 0 and then we will have 1 into 3 into 9 that is 27 now same from this side 3 into 3 into 0 which is equals to 0 and then 3 into 0 into 9 which is 0 and 1 into 5 into 5 which is equals to 25 so anything that is on this side will be positive and anything that is on this side will be negative so if you sum all this in this case we will have dz is equals to 2 so now we can calculate z so z is equals to zz divided by d that is equals to 2 and we already know the value of d that is 2 by 4 so z is equals to 1 by 2 
so using kramer's rule and matrices and some tricks we solve this problem and we found the value of x by z so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please like to this video share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video thank you